Hi, and I'm going to show you how to make a scratch game. You'll have to have scratch for this, and let's get started. You'll first start with getting an astronaut, and first I'll get scratch and cr press create. And you go to black drop stage. Since it's going to be a space game, we're going to have, let's go to space. You'll pick your space. We're just going to pick this one. This is the best. We this cat since we don't need it in space. A cat in space. Okay. And since we need some stuff. We'll take an astro- we'll go um, into choose sprite and we'll try to choose astronaut. If you can't find astronaut, you don't have to make an astronaut, but you could choose an astronaut, that's the best way to do this. Oh, there is one astronaut. Oh, this one. This one's good. Since this one's too big, we'll go and change the size to 35. Click. Okay, this is perfect. We'll drag him to the bottom. Ah, okay, so let's start putting in the code. For the code for him, we'll go to, <clears throat> sorry, events when click the block. We'll go to motions, and we'll go to go to X, Y, go to X, Y. We'll change this into minus 150, minus 150. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna get zero. That's good. Okay, we'll get it there. So look, it starts there. Then we'll have to get in some other code. We'll have to get into controls and get a forever loop. The forever loop. In the forever loop, we'll have to get an if then else. Inside. Then we'll have to go to sensing and get a mouse down. After we do the mouse down, we'll go back to motion and take change y by 5. Change y by 5. There, change y by 10. We can duplicate this, or you don't have to duplicate this. I'm gonna make this faster. Okay, we're gonna um, put it minus seven. We're gonna put this the lower one minus seven, and five. Just five, no minus five. Look, now every time a mouse moves, Look, I'm click on my mouse. It's not my space bar. Look, see? Every time I click on my mouse, it will go up and down. <clears throat> after that, after that, you'll get a if then, only if then, no if then else. Got it? Okay. Go down, not inside the if then else, inside there under the if then else then we'll get a touching robot we'll have to first add a robot so let's see if there are any robots in here not all the time there are robots okay let's see if we can take a robot out of here hard <laughs> That's a retro ro- Since this is really big robots, we'll have to minus this robot down to 35 too. So they'll be even sized. Let's take this, it's 100 minus. Sorry. Okay, we'll get 35. Am I mistaken? Nope, we're not. So look, for, this is our code for now. This is only how it's going. See, the robot's not moving, so we'll have to get something else in there. 
<clears throat> but we only did that to do something else. Because we'll have to get an if then, and we'll go into sensing, and we'll go touching the robot. But if we didn't have the robot, it wouldn't let us do touching the robot. <clears throat> then, if it does that, like if then, if touching robot, then stop all. We go into controls. No mistake. Um, we'll put stop all. That's all code for Karen. So. Then <clears throat> we'll go into robot. So, robot, we're going to be cloning it. And for the robot code, we're actually going to be putting some other stuff in. So, we're going to go back to events. Everything starts with an event. <clears throat> Tip if you're cloning. We'll go into looks and hide when clicked. Then, in a forever loop, we'll get it here. And we'll get a wait 5.5 seconds. Create clone myself. Got it? We'll take that, and that will be there. Um, wait. Yeah, wait. We'll have to get a wait, but not one second. <coughs> you could put it 100 seconds, then it'll wait really long. You could put it any how much seconds you want to wait. I'm going to put it 5, 0.5 seconds, because you'll have to get your mouse ready, ready to hit. Yeah, so, I'll put 0.5 seconds, and you could put any other. Create clone of myself. Then you'll have to put create clone of myself. Yes. Inside the forever loop. It's going to create clone of, my fellas, my, of myself forever. Okay, let's create some clones of ourselves. <clears throat> when I start as a clone, and we'll take this clone code and then show. We need it to show. Then you'll go to random position in the motions. Go to random position, and that's all we'll put there. And then you'll go to set X to minus no, set X to 250. Set X, not set Y. Set X to 200. Ouch, 50. Okay, 250. If we do 250, let's see here. See, they're just piling up. And we don't need them to be piling up. So, we'll get set X to 250. We'll get forever loop again. Then we'll get a change x by minus two, <coughs> minus twenty. <coughs> set x minus twenty. Change x. Set x to minus. Yes. Change x to my. Change x by minus two hundred twenty. No, twenty. Okay, <laughs> it's following. Okay. So we'll get <coughs> set x, change x. Yes, change x. We'll get a change x minus. Oh no, not that. Well, not that. This went too fast. Okay, minus <coughs> twenty. Not okay. Well, change x by minus 20. That's it. And then, if then, <clears throat> no if then else, just if then, we'll go inside the forever loop here. You'll get an operators. <clears throat> You'll take here that says the greater sign. No, the less sign. Then you'll get into the empty into the empty box, not where the 50 is, into the empty box, we'll get an X position. Okay, then we'll get a minus 200. Minus 200. So when you're done with that, you'll put delete this clone. 
delete this clone. Then, after you put delete this clone, you will be done with this code. Look, and see, every time he touches, see, the robot touched me. So, if the robot touches me, he will officially, he will end the game. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks you. Thank you, bye.